This is the Hollyland Mars M1 Monitor Transceiver. It's the next logical step to their recent release, the Mars 4K transmission system, which we did a review on just a few weeks ago. So first off, what is a transceiver? We all know what a monitor is. A transceiver in this case is something that is capable of sending or receiving a video signal, as well as displaying it. On top of that, it's also capable of transmitting to another receiver or an app or just an app by itself. So you could buy just this and use a phone as the receiver and have an on-camera monitor. What this device is not is a recording monitor. And at $549, some people may question, eh, is it really worth it when you can buy some recording monitors for not much more than that? Well, stick around because it does have a lot of useful features and it's a great monitor, but it also has some flaws, which we'll point out in our what if segment. It is very useful if you need a director's monitor, a client monitor, or if you need to pull focus. Speaking of pulling focus, you're gonna to wanna to know what the latency of this system is. Well, they claim it's 80 milliseconds, which is blazing fast and really shouldn't be any issues at all. However, that's 80 milliseconds not counting HDMI. By the time you actually use the HDMI, you're gonna end up with something a little over 200 milliseconds of latency, which is noticeable. You can still pull focus, but only if the subject is moving a little slower and in a more predictable manner. The reality is there are very few HDMI systems out there where you can pull focus that is much faster than this. You're gonna to need to use SDI or oddly enough, the Wi-Fi app, which is quicker in most cases. Cases. Range is another deciding factor in any transmission system. In our tests, we were able to get up to 600 feet line of sight using this as a receiver and the Mars 4K as a transmitter. Now, if there was any obstruction or if I had my body between the camera and the system, it was closer to 350 feet before we had any kind of breakup. When I reversed the system and used the Mars M1 as a transmitter and the Mars 4K as a receiver, we got almost an identical range. It actually was just a touch better with it as a transmitter, but not enough that was really noticeable. As far as the app, this is pretty standard for any app. We're able to get about two to 250 feet of range. If you're blocking the signal, it's closer to 150 feet. Again, that's kind of a limitation of Wi-Fi, but it's there and it works quite well. Fan mute. I wonder what happens if we mute the fan. This is a little cutaway here, but it kicked on and it was a little loud. Obviously that's right up to the front of the shotgun mic, but Mute shuts it off. Well, let's see if it overheats. It takes me about 20 to 30 minutes to film one of these. And this is towards the beginning of the video. So back to the video. When you buy the Hollyland Mars M1, it comes with a USB adapter for installing your own LUTs, which it is capable of. It also comes with a screen protector, which is actually like a tempered glass screen protector and is really thick. Honestly, I never use these things. I just feel like they get in my way and I don't do a very good job putting them on, but it's pretty nice that they include that. And, it includes a D-tap power cable, which is awesome. Honestly, I could have a ton of these laying around, so it would be nice to have another one. What it does not include is a sunshade, and it's something I wish it did have, or any type of mounting bracket to attach it to the camera or to a stand or anything like that. I feel like it's a small piece they could have included, but honestly, most of the ones that come with these monitors are kind of junk anyway, so I get it. They're just trying to save space. The monitor itself has a brightness of a thousand nits, which is pretty bright, but it's not top of the line. Some of the new monitors are coming out with 2000 nits. A thousand nits can be used on a sunny day, but not in direct sunlight. So you're gonna have to face it away from the sun. Again, it does have little mounting brackets for a sunshade, but the sunshade isn't actually included with it which is kind of a shame. The housing of this monitor is incredibly well built, which is something we've come to expect from Hollyland. It has what feels like a metal exterior wrapped in a rubberized coating, and it feels very durable. And honestly, I've made some mistakes with my gear before. For example, this Mars 4K set, when we did that range test, got left out in the rain for about four days. Oops and it worked fine afterwards. Oh, and the batteries were still plugged in. They were powered off, but they were plugged in just laying in the grass for like four days. Perfectly fine, no rust, fired right up. I didn't even give them time to dry out. So, pretty durable. This monitor has HDMI in and out, 
SDI in, but no SDI out. It has multiple power options, including the standard Sony MPF battery and your eight volt out, plus your seven to 16 volt in. It also has a USB port for loading LUTs and a headphone jack. The touchscreen monitor has all the features you would come to expect, including your exposure settings, your de-squeezing, your centering, framing, and pretty much anything else you can think of. And in the menu, it has the ability to switch it from a transmitter to a receiver, pair and do everything you need to do. Hit the pair button while I was doing the video and now I gotta wait. Crap. The layout of the app is very similar to that of the monitor and is pretty easy to set up. It also has a couple hundred feet of range like we talked about earlier and has the added benefit of being able to use up to four devices while connected to this monitor being set up as a transmitter or you can do one device and one receiver should you choose to do so. So now we need to ask ourselves, what are the things we really don't like about this monitor or transmitters and receivers and monitors in general? This is the part of the video where we ask the company, what if you tried a little harder? What if you listened to us? What if you added the features we actually asked for in those reviews and comments? So let's ask, what if? Dear Hollyland, I have some thoughts. What if you didn't tease us with your sunshade mounts and actually put one in the box? What if every company didn't mislead us on latency? 80 milliseconds my ass. SDI in is great, but what if we had SDI out? What if you included a monitor mount like everyone else? That D-tap though. What if it wasn't $549? Some of us are just hobo YouTubers. Next time, remember, what if? If you have any other what ifs of your own, please leave those in the comments and hopefully Hollyland reads them. If it's something we think is really important, we'll actually forward it in an email to Hollyland and let them see it for themselves. Don't hesitate to leave a comment if you have any special requests. Now we need to decide who is this for? If you don't currently own a monitor or any transmitter or receiver sets, I would say this really is not for you. For $549, it's pretty sweet, but you could get a cheaper monitor to get you started. And if you don't have a transmitter or a receiver, it's kind of pointless. And you definitely don't wanna buy two of these at $1,100 if this is your first system, unless you know you have the need for it. However, you could buy this and use an app as a receiver or an app as a client monitor or for pulling focus. It actually has less latency than HDMI anyway. So you could do that, but I would only do that if you plan on buying another monitor and a transmitter receiver set or another one of these in the future. If you already own one of Hollyland's many transmission systems that it's compatible with, then I think this is a pretty solid buy and kind of the next logical purchase. This monitor just removes another component whenever you're out in the field. It makes it that much easier and smaller, more compact to use. So yes, if you have the Mars 4K system and you're looking for a monitor or a compact way to hand the director or a client something to hold while you're filming, this is a great buy and a very solid option and something I would recommend. Currently, you can get this monitor on Amazon for $549. I'll be sure to leave a link below. Plus, I'll leave an Amazon link to the Mars 4K transmission system, which I think in its price range is one of the best of 2022. If this isn't for you and you're just looking for a solid budget monitor to get started, well, then you should check out this video right here. If you're considering the Mars 4K, we did a review on it very recently and you can check out this video right here. If any of this was useful or helpful to you in any way, please consider giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. Well, thanks again, and we'll see you soon. So a quick update on the fan noise. This thing ran for about 30 minutes with the fan on what is called mute which is still on, it's just really quiet. I'll compare this from earlier. Like there's still a little bit of noise there, but very little at all. Um, but on mute, it did not overheat. I'm actually curious to see if that really changes anything, but it seems like that's not an issue. Now this is set up as the receiver, Maybe as a transmitter, it might get a little bit warmer, a little quicker, but so far so good. And it looks like you can leave it on the quiet setting.